Okay, welcome to the webinar tonight. I'm very excited to be here, you guys. My name is Eric Johnson. I'm the creator and CEO of Teamsy. <clears throat> and uh, tonight I'm going to show you guys how to get started right with Teamsy. I'm going to take you guys through the process of setting Teamsy up. It's really easy to do. I just want you to know it's super easy to do, so don't be intimidated by that. Then I'm going to show you how to, how to absolutely crush a power hour. Teamsy is built around the concept of a power hour. What do I mean by that? I mean that you should be able to build your business in an hour a day. But to do that, you need to be focused and you need to have a tool like Teams to help you leverage your time so you can be efficient and effective during that time. So I'll show you how to crush a power hour. Once we set Teams up the first time, you never have to touch it again. It's just automatically setting up your power hour each day. We'll go through and connect with people, start conversations with them. I'll show you how to do that in Teamsy. I'll show you how to take those conversations and turn them into an invite where we tell them a little bit more about the business um, or about our products. Then I'll show you how to follow up an invite like a pro. Without being salesy, without being annoying, I'll show you how to follow up on somebody until they convert. Okay, we'll do all of that, and then I'll do an open Q&A. So at the end, if you have questions, I'll stay and answer them. And they could be about the presentation tonight, or they could be about anything in Teamsy. Any questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. So you'll see the little Q&A button down there. So make sure that you load your questions up there as we go along. Also, we are recording the call, so don't worry. You get a playback if for some reason you drop or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started. Come on, computer. I want you to go as fast as I think. Someday, right, guys? Someday. Okay, so you should see my presentation. I've just got a few slides here. This is, this is our topic tonight. Get started right with Teamsy and become a power hour boss, okay? So just a little bit about my story for those of you who don't know me. Um, my, my background is in business consulting and coaching. I've been a business coach for 15 years, helping people build their business. Some of the principles Teamsy are built, well, all the principles Teamsy is built upon are things that I've taught for years. There are things that are tried and true in the business world and absolutely work 100% of the time. Okay. Now my story was I was working full time as a consultant, had a career, you know, busy, 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 like everyone else kind of stuck, stagnant, not getting ahead. Um, just really didn't see a future beyond where I was at that moment. And at that time I had, um, had some amazing results physically using Beachbody products. So that's where I got started was I started out, um, doing Beachbody because people were asking me, Hey, what are you doing? You look great. And it became my side hustle. Now, a lot of you guys are here. You've got a full-time career just like I did. Maybe you're doing uh, network marketing as a side hustle. That's what I did. And here's the thing, as a business consultant, as a business coach, I knew that if I was gonna be successful doing it on the side, I needed to be incredibly efficient with my time. So I started looking for tools. I started looking for a really relationship-friendly CRM for network marketing, and I just couldn't find one. So we built it, that's exactly the thing. But just a little bit of the story, here's a picture. Here's a picture of the old me versus the new me, you know? So just like you guys, I was in this business, building it, sharing products that I loved. Um, trying to help people with the opportunity that was before me. And so I know exactly what you guys are going through and I know exactly how hard it is to figure out who to be in touch with and how to do it each day. So what I needed was a system that allowed me to do all of these things I'm going to give you right now in less than an hour a day because that's all I had was an hour a day. I wanted a way to stay in touch with all my contacts, everybody. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys why it's so important to actually be in touch with everybody. Yes, I mean like thousands of people, absolutely, and it's doable. I wanted to know when to contact them, okay? And I also wanted to know when not to contact them, but I didn't want to have to think about it. I wanted somebody to just kind of tell me, here's what you do each day. Also, I wanted to know what to say to them. I didn't, I'm the kind of person that could spend all day trying to figure out the perfect thing to say. Anybody relate to that? So I wanted to know, like, what can I say? How can I do this quickly and efficiently? And then I wanted a system that allowed me to follow up seamlessly so that nobody ever falls through the cracks. And I know you guys have experienced this, right? You're talking to somebody and they're interested. They're kind of really interested. And then they decide, you know what? I'm not ready right now. Okay, no problem. We'll connect again down the road. And the next thing you know, they've just joined on someone else's team. Anybody relate to that? It happens to all of us. That person just fell through the cracks. You just didn't have a system like this that was tight enough to make sure that nobody fell through the cracks. Okay. So there was one more thing that was essential to the system that I needed and that it needed to be super easy to use. Guys, it, even though I'm the Teensy guy, I'm so tech challenged. It's pathetic. It had to be easy for me to use. It couldn't be like a traditional CRM, which is so complicated. It makes you want to pull your hair out. And the guys, this, the incredibly brilliant partners of mine who built this will be the first ones to testify to you that my tech understanding is pretty limited. But hey, here's the good news. I can use this, so I know it's easy enough for you to use too. Okay, so when we went out looking for this, it just didn't exist. We just couldn't find it, so we built it. 
All right, let's jump out real quick. Oh, I want to give you a couple stats here before we start, just so you can have some history on Teamsy. We're almost two years old now. In less than two years, we've got more than 45,000 network marketers using Teamsy, which is pretty cool, right? I've been through the system. Also, we've got results for you. Our active users in Teamsy, people who are doing exactly what I'm going to show you in this presentation tonight, are averaging 21 new customers and nine new recruits over a 90 day period. 21 new customers, nine, nine new recruits over 90 days, which is pretty cool. Now I could give you the 30 day average, but the reason I give you the 90 day average is because I truly believe that when you're building business, everything functions in 90 day cycles of momentum, which is why it's so important to be consistent. And I'll talk, that, talk to you guys a little bit about that as we go. Okay, you ready? Let's jump right into Teams and let me get out of here. Why are you Teamsy? Okay. So now you guys should be seeing my Teamsy dashboard. Your dashboard may look a little different. You know, we've got, gosh, I don't know, 27 networks right now with, with their own special versions of Teamsy. But overall, they're the same. They just got little details that make it feel like your network. This is the Teamsy, it's called Teamsy standard, which is kind of the generic version. But just imagine it as you will with the, with the terminology of your network. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is get this thing set up. Now, the reason why most people don't use a CRM is because the setup is a non-starter for them, it's too hard. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is. First and foremost, if you're not already using Teamsy as a, um, either a subscriber or in a free trial, you need to go to teamsy.com and sign up for a free trial. It's 30 days for free, we don't ask for a credit card or anything weird like that. Because we know that if you actually use this for 30 days, you're gonna get great results and you're gonna be in love with Teamsy, okay? So um, go get your 30-day free trial. Now when you first log into your free trial, you're gonna be inside a thing called the Setup Wizard, which makes setting this thing up super easy, okay? I'm gonna, if you've dismissed it, you can get back to it by going to this little um, settings wheel in the top right. Okay, and so the Setup Wizard is gonna take you through the process. You can do a few things here. You can get, um, if you sign up for these Facebook updates, you actually will get, which is pretty cool, um, you get little tips throughout your 30 day trial that help you use it. Okay, so we're gonna do three things in our setup wizard. Set your income goal, create a powerful why, and get your contacts in so you can be super mega organized, okay? And I'm just gonna go through the setup and then I'm gonna show you guys the workflows to just absolutely build so much momentum in your business. You're gonna be super, super excited. So the first thing we do is we set our income goal. Just pick a number. Now, I recommend you stretch just a little bit. Okay, you can see the number I put in here was $140,000. And this is the income level you'd like to be at 12 months from now, okay? I highly recommend if you guys can commit to an hour a day on your business, I think you should shoot for minimum six-figure goal here. Okay, that's just my advice. Now I'm gonna continue to the next page and TMT is gonna actually calculate what I need to be doing this year to hit that number. So TMT has estimated that I need to connect with 4,058 people over the next 12 months. That's a pretty big number, right? How many of you guys know 4,000 people? So I only know maybe half that. So I'm gonna to have to meet people along the way too, right? And I'll show you how to do that in TMZ as we go. So let's go to the next page because if you need to eat an elephant, how do you do it? Anyone know this one? You eat it one bite at a time, right? One bite at a time. The next page breaks it down into three groups, prospects, customers, and distributors, or whatever you call them, whether they're coaches, consultants, distributors, promoters, presenters, social marketers, oh, you guys have the best terms, but it's your prospects, your customers, and your team. Okay, those are the three groups. Then we're gonna break those down yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily, so that now I have a daily target to hit my goal. Teams is recommending that I connect with eight prospects a day, five customers a day, and four distributors a day, right? So what is that, nine plus eight, 15? No, nine plus eight, 15, 17. Can we just make this, Let's just make this, I'm gonna put these up because I want it to be an even 20. You can change these to anything you want just by typing over them, okay? And whatever you set in these goals will set up your dashboard to your goals. So nobody's teams will be the same. Now you've got two more boxes here, invites and ads. I'll show you these along the way, but invites are actually when we invite somebody to learn more about the business opportunity or we invite them to try a product. That's an invite. Now notice my goal is to connect with 20 people a day across my three groups but my, my invite goal is only three. Why is that? Aren't you inviting everybody, Eric? No, and I'm gonna show you that, guys, because when we work with relationship marketing, 
we be, build and deepen relationships with everybody. So we don't invite them until they're ready for it. Does that make sense? First, we're going to have a conversation and we're going to deepen our relationship with them. And then I'm going to be adding three people every day to my list and team. Okay. So if you're brand new, you might be adding people you already know that just aren't on your list. You may be adding people that are free leads from your corporation that give you from their website or people that you're meeting in real life, people that you're meeting on online. We're going to be, the goal is constantly to be adding to your list as well as you go. Okay. All right. So again, anything on this page, when I hit continue, now my dashboard's set up to those goals. Cool. All right. We're jamming. Finding your why. The next piece of this is setting up your why. Now, the truth is, guys, that knowing your why doesn't really matter as far as using this software. But it, when it comes to your success in this business, it's crucial. You guys know that one out of every two people in this business will quit within the first year. Yeah, it's huge. And some of you guys know this because you work really hard recruiting people and then they're gone. I will tell you why people leave. They leave because they don't have a why. They don't know why they need to persist. They don't know why success matters. Okay. So I'm going to talk, take you through this process because I know you guys have had people tell you, Hey, you've got to have your why you got to cast your vision. You need to know why you're in this game, but you just maybe didn't don't know how to do it. And then how do you, if you do figure it out, how do you help your recruits, your downline to do it? You need a simple way that's duplicatable. So let me show you how to do it. We built it right into teams. Before we get into it though, I'll just ask you a couple questions. I recommend you do the same thing with your team, but these questions just get you in the mindset that will help you kind of start digging out your why. So let me just ask you, uh, what do you believe in strongly? What do you believe in so strongly that you would never compromise it? What do you believe in so strongly you would never compromise it? Let me ask you another question. Who or what would you put yourself in harm's way for? Who or what would you put yourself in harm's way for? Is there something or someone you would actually give your life for? Wow, you're like, you're it so deep in here. I know. Well, listen, guys, your why is deep. It needs to be deep. You know how people, you know how people um, buy things emotionally and then just justify them logically? Have you guys heard that before? The same is true for whether you persist or quit anything. You do it based on emotion. And the why is more than just what you need or want. The why is the emotion, the deep emotion tied to your life. So you've got to get deep. All right, let me show you in Team Z. We've got five questions. I just wanted to get you guys in the mood. Five questions that will help you uncover your why, and you can share this with your team to do the same thing. The first one is, why did you become a distributor? And you can see I put some little notes in here, my, my answers. And I'll take you through my story, that I, my story as it happened for me as an example, right? Obviously, your story is different. Why did you become a distributor? I became a distributor because I loved the products. I sh shared that with you guys. Just like a lot of you guys, I loved the products. I was a customer first, and I had amazing results. People were asking me about it. What are you doing? You look great. That's why I became a distributor, because I felt like, man, I should be getting paid for telling people about this. Make sense? The second question, what do you hope to accomplish? Now, I wanted to just make some extra money. That's all I wanted to do. How many people relate to that? You're thinking, wow, this would be a great way to make some extra money. I just wanted to make some extra money. Um, I wanted to actually spend, my goal was to make 500 bucks a month. I just wanted to make 500 bucks a month. I would be super thrilled with that. I remember asking my sponsor, do you think I could do this? 500 bucks a month. He said, I think you could do that with minimal effort. I said, awesome. Let's do it. The next question, why is that important to you? And so just to kind of give you a context of why I said 500 a month, we have been through, I know probably a lot of you guys experienced, remember the big recession we had at the end of 2008 into 2009, 2010? Gosh, it went forever, didn't it? That big recession, the great recession. So my business, remember, was helping real estate people build their business. And what happened to the real estate industry during that recession? It disappeared for a while, right? It disappeared. And it was a, it was a hard time financially for us. I was laid off from my job, had to find work in another industry, making less money. Um, I mean, we were blessed that I found work right away, right? At least I was working. I know a lot of people were unemployed during that time, but it was difficult. And we used to save $500 a month before that happened. And when that happened, we used our savings and we didn't save money. For almost seven years, we didn't save any money. So the thought of saving 500 bucks a month again was really exciting to me. That's what I was shooting for. So the next question, what would achieving this mean for you and your family? 
And when I thought about this, it came to me right away. I wanted to buy a new house. I was like, wow, if I could save 500 bucks a month, long enough, I could get a down payment together and we could buy a new house. We had a great house, but it was small. We had four kids now and we were just on top of each other constantly. And um, truth be told, we had a baby coming, the fourth one, and we didn't know where to put her. We had nowhere to put her. So I was thinking, wow, it'd be great if we could buy a new house. Those of you guys who remember who've been around Teamsy for a while, maybe you have it, you can go dig out some of our old videos. You'll see that when we launched Teamsy, I was in that small house and I had a shed in the backyard converted into an office because there was nowhere in the house for me to, to broadcast from. And I used to go out into the shed and do webinars like this, which is pretty cool, right? It's just fun part of the story, but you make it happen. So I wanted to buy a new house. That's what I was hoping I could do now. But you can see even going through these questions, you guys, I went from, hey, I can make some extra money to, wow, maybe I could buy a new house in five minutes. Five minutes, I started getting excited about this business. The last question was, why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? That's the fifth question. Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? And here's what I realized, you guys. The house wasn't really a meaningful goal, but it was symbolic of something else that was going on. It was symbolic of the fact that Deep down inside my subconscious, I hadn't given, I hadn't given myself the, the chance to think about it out loud, but I knew deep down in my heart of hearts that the life that I had with my kids wasn't what I wanted. I never saw my kids. I was working all the time. I saw my kids in the morning. You know, I got, they were in their pajamas. I kissed them goodbye. I went to work. Uh, when I got home from work, they were already done with dinner, getting ready for bed. That was, that was my relationship with my kids. And why was I working so hard? To hold serve, to stay the same, to not get ahead. I was stuck. Um, I was missing my kids growing up. My son, who at the time was in kindergarten, kept calling me by the name of his teacher instead of daddy. Um, and it, I just realized I was going to miss it. I was going to miss the entire childhood while working just to stay the same. Now, going through this process, I get to this question of buying a new house. And I realized, you know what? This opportunity, this network marketing opportunity is more than 500 bucks a month. It's actually a way, it's a way for me to create the life that I want for my family, for me, for the life that we've always dreamt of. It's actually a plan that could work. My career's not getting us there, but this is plan B and it could get us there. Does that make sense? That's why this process is so huge because you got to get to the point that it's on the line. It's 500 bucks a month is not going to keep me in the game. Doing it so I get to be with my kids and have a life with my family, that will. Does that make sense? So let me answer this last question with you guys. So I, that whole thought process brought me down to the last box, my why. And this is where you create your why statement. This is your why, right? And don't worry about getting it perfect. You're going to do this again and again and again throughout your career. But you need to get started with something pretty deep. So this is what I wrote all those years ago. My why, to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. Wouldn't that be nice? I enjoy quality time with my family and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. Guys, as soon as I wrote this, everything changed. Do you think there were days I didn't feel like going to Teams and connecting with 20 people? Yeah, like every other day, I'm a normal person. But I would look at this, by the way, when, when you click continue, whatever you have in this last box publishes to your dashboard, I would look at this and I would go, how can I not spend 30 minutes connecting with people? How can, I, how can I blow this off? This is too important. This is too important. And you have to think about what are the consequences of not doing it? The consequences of not doing it is staying where I am, staying stuck, right? So if you wanna, if you wanna get to, to a new life, if you wanna get to the life of your dreams, you have to do it. This why has to push you through it. Does that make sense? Don't skip this part, you guys. Don't go, oh, that's kumbaya, fluffy, hippie stuff. If you don't know why you're in this game, when challenges come to you, and they will, or you're just feeling bored today, whatever it is, you'll end up quitting. And that's so sad because we want you to succeed. Greg Cardone, I love this. He talks about how success is your duty. It's a moral obligation. If you have it in you to be successful, if that's your, the potential God gave you, it's your duty to achieve it, right? 
I actually have, you can't see it, but I have a sign on my wall right here behind this light that says success is my duty. I love that. Oh my gosh. All right, next. So you got your why. Next. Now we're going to get your contacts in. Sorry, that was a passion tangent. I go off on these occasionally. Now we're going to get your contacts in. So guys, depending on your, on your back office, there's videos for a lot of them on how to get your, you're going to get your downline and your customer list from your back office, put them in teams. So they're in one place, all organized where you can connect with people. Okay. And then you're going to get your Facebook contacts in your Facebook friends list. So cool. You're not going through Facebook messenger anymore, trying to figure out who to connect with. It's all organized in teams. Okay. And then anywhere else that you have contacts, you just import them in as a CSV. There's instructions in here. We've got an awesome um, help center, um, which is just like so cool. In fact, I'll show you, um, I'll show you what that looks like during the Q and a question section. Cause we have a new help center that's launching in the morning. We have a great help center now, but in the morning we have one that's launching that is like the bee's knees. Okay, so there's one more step. Once you get all of your um, contacts loaded in, you've got one more step for setup, and then we're ready to crush our power hour. Again, remember, you only need to set this up one time, and then you just work it each day. So the last step is where we rank the people we've imported. We rank them based on a five-star system. You know, five stars being awesome, one star being a lot less than awesome. Right. Okay. So you're going to be on after the import teams will automatically drop you on your team page. That's see on the left now. The team page is where your whole list lives. Like everybody you've imported, right? Um, you got all your different lists, alls, recent ads, prospects, customers, distributors, right? So once you drop in here, it's going to be in rank mode like this. And you're just going to go down your list and rank people just from the gut. You don't have to overthink this, like four stars, four, three stars, great. You know, just go down it. Now, let me tell you what, let me tell you how we define the ranks and what they mean so you understand. You can do that by clicking this little question mark. A five-star person is someone who is like most likely to become a customer or a distributor on your team, or they're already on your team, or they're already a customer, and they're like your favorite people. They're your rock stars, okay? Five-star people, they're going to come up on your list every 30 days, your up next list every 30 days. And what we're going to do when you see their name is you're going to connect with them. You're not going to try to sell them or recruit them. You're just going to connect. You're going to get in the make someone stay mindset and just connect with them to make their day. Okay. This is how we move relationships forward and deepen relationships. And that those connects will start conversations, which create opportunities for us. A four star person is someone likely to become a customer or distributor on your team with a little bit of nurturing, Right. Or there are maybe somebody that's already on your team. That's just solid performer. You're going to, they're going to show up on your up next every 60 days with four stars, every 60 days, three star people are, they could go either way. In fact, most people on your list will be three stars because you don't know yet. And those people will show up on your list to connect every 90 days, every 90 days. So see, they cycle through based on the priority you set some people more often than others, right? Because with relationship marketing, you should be spending more time with the best people. You should be spending more time with the best people. If you don't prioritize people first, if you don't prioritize the relationships first, you cannot prioritize time. It's impossible. Because the people who deserve the, the least amount of time are the ones who steal it and dominate it, right? The turkeys take your time. So first you need to prioritize the people that are important to you. Two stars, now they're getting colder. They're every 120 days they come up, but you're still cycling through them a few times a year, which is cool. And then one star people, they're not gonna show up on your up next list. They're in Teams if you need to look them up. They're just kind of in storage, okay? There's your star ranking system. So once you've done that, now just a couple tips on this, because some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, you know, I, um, I've got 5,000 Facebook friends. How do I do that? How do I do it? All right, so there's two options. One is the Eric way, which is the way I would do it, which is I would put on the complete recordings of Frank Sinatra. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I would do. And get a nice adult beverage and just go through and rank them. I would just go through and rank them. Now I'm the guy who moves into a new house and stays up all night unpacking. And then the next morning he's moved in. That's me. Now the, the other option is you could do a little bit at a time till you get through them. Or you could just go down your list, quick, 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 and look for the fours and fives. Just cherry pick out the best people so that they're cycling up first. Okay, those are some options. Okay, so now we're ready. We've set up. Now we're ready to crush our power. Let me show you guys how this works. Wait, hold on one second. Let me just make sure everything's set up and ready for you guys.
One second. I didn't get my my um, thing like totally ready and beautiful for you guys. Let me just clear a couple things here. Okay, we're ready. Now we're gonna crush our power. Let me share my screen back with you. Wasn't that fun? You had to watch me do something. Here we go. All right, quick, quick, quick tour if you guys haven't figured this out. Today's activities are the goals for the day, right? Our goal is 10 prospects, six customers, four distributors, three invites, three ads. Every time you do one of these activities in Teamsy, you get like a new mark on the board and your scoreboard kind of shows how you're getting towards your goal. Your goal, see I'm at 4%, your goal is to get to 100% for today and you get a little thing that says you crushed it and it's super exciting to get. Now, if you need to look somebody up that's not on your dashboard, you just look them up up here by any piece of their name, email, or phone number. And if you wanna add a new contact after you've done your imports, you just click this add contact button, okay? A couple other cool things. If you're new, make sure you click this to join our Facebook community. And then um, your dailies are little things that you need to do every day to be successful and they're just there to remind you. Are you posting on social media? Are you doing personal development work? Are you a product of your product? Are you getting some exercise? Take care of your body. You gotta have energy and enthusiasm if you wanna build this business, okay? All right, and then this is your net left navigation over here. Now, who's up next is where the magic is. This is where we do our power. See this big box right in the center, this who's up next. This is my favorite part of Teamsy, and no other system has figured this out. See, remember, Teamsy is based on the concept of the power hour, the fact that you can do this business in an hour a day, but you gotta be efficient. So this helps you do that without wasting a single second. So the Who's Up Next has four lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and follow-ups. Four lists, okay? And you start left to right. So the first list are prospects. Now what I'm gonna do is start connecting with these prospects. Remember, my goal is to make their day. Our goal is to make their day and help them in some way. I'm not, I'm not trying to recruit them right away. Now I'm looking for opportunities to do that, but I'm not gonna do it until I see, until I've built some interest. Okay, so. First person on my list is Jay, so I'm gonna connect with her. I've got Facebook open in a separate tab because I'm gonna use Facebook Messenger to connect with Jay. But before I do that, I really don't know what to say to her. You guys ever get to this where you're like, who is that? Is that somebody I know? She's a Facebook friend? Okay, great. What do I say to her? So I'm just gonna give you guys some ideas here. Over here on the right, there's a scripts button, and we've got all these great non-salesy relational scripts to start a conversation. So I'm gonna click Facebook. So here's one. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? Hope your day is awesome. That's my favorite one, by the way. I use it all the time. Now, if it's somebody I really don't know who they are, I might use this one. Hi, Jane, just saw you cross my Facebook feed and I thought I'd say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome, right? Because we're Facebook friends, even if you don't remember how. I'm gonna copy that script. See, copy script, boom. Now it's on my clipboard. Check this out. I can jump over to Facebook, look up Jay, Okay, we can go to Jay, send her a message. I just pasted that from my clipboard, changed the name. And what I'm gonna do before I send it is I'm gonna copy this so I don't have to actually type in TMZ. Again, just to be efficient, I wanna just copy and paste. So there's Jay. I'm gonna now just log this message that I sent her. Now, what type of message was it? It was Facebook message. Okay, great. Now, watch what happens when I click log, log the connect. Now, I've got one on the board. Jay's off my list. Darlene is now at the top of my list. And, guys, everything is tracked. Tracking's done. I'm hoping that that starts a conversation with Jay. But if, she, if it doesn't, she'll come back on my list again in a month. Big deal, right? Great. Darlene's next. I'm gonna do the same thing with Darlene. I'm gonna to go to Facebook and I'm gonna send her the same, guys, I'll just send her the same message and change the name. How long, how quick do you think I can do all 10 of these if I could learn how to type? Okay, quick. 10, 15 minutes, maybe, because I'm not spending a lot of time thinking about what I need to say. With me? Okay. So I'm gonna go all the way down my list 10 times until I get to 10. Easy. Now I'm gonna to move to the next list, which is customers, and I'm gonna start connecting with my customers. Now just, to, what do I mean by customers? These are people who have ordered from you in the past. Do they need to be on a monthly reorder to be considered a customer? No, every single person. So you've got all these people that 
all of these people, guys, listen to this. Your customers are so important and they're so often neglected. All of these people at some point have given you enough trust in your business. They've supported your business. They've bought products from you and they've liked the products enough that they've actually purchased them. These are the best people in the world for you. You need to stay in touch with them. If you stay in touch with your customers, you'll have a better relationship with them. Um, it's a better experience for them, so it's the right thing to do service-wise. They'll order more, and many of them are likely to become distributors on your team. you got to stay in touch with your customers. It's so important. With TeamZ, you don't need to set complicated follow-up processes with your customers. You're just going to stay. If you're in here every day doing your power hour, you will just always be in touch with your customers. You'll always be there when you need them. It's great when they need you, I should say. So again, I've got scripts for customers. When I click on here and I go in here, now I've got different scripts. There's some great scripts for getting recommendations from people you're already working with. Congratulations on great results, right? How are you enjoying your product? Send me an update. Let me know how I can be of help. And then this is my favorite one always, which is just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day. Oh my gosh, people love this one, by the way. Okay, if you guys have used this one and, and had great results, put it up in the chat. Let people know how much people love getting this one. Just check it in and see if there's anything I can do to make your day. It works so great. Again, they're not salesy. They're not pushy. They're just designed to start a conversation with somebody. Let them know you care about them. All right, so we'll do the same thing we did on our Power Hour um, with prospects. We're going to go down customers. Our goal is six. I'm going to connect with six customers until I'm done. Now I'm going to click to my team, and I'm going to start connecting with my team. This is why we call it Teamsy, because connecting with your team is so important. You need to build that relationship one-on-one -on -one with people on your team. And yes, I'm talking to you guys that have mega huge businesses. It's even more important. We talked about the turnover being one out of two in the first year. People don't just leave because they're not making money or whatever. People leave because they don't feel connected. That's the number one reason people leave. If you, can, if you can help them feel connected, they have a better chance of succeeding. Isn't that why we're here is to help other people get successful, right? So you've got to stay in touch with your team. Having a Facebook page is great. Being on a live Zoom call with your team is great. It's not the same as one-on-one, -on -one. sending somebody a message, spending some time with them, letting them know you're thinking about them, seeing if you can help them one-on-one, -on -one. okay? So when we get done with our, in this example, our four people on our team, now we're ready to go over to our follow-ups list and work our follow-ups list. So how do people get on the follow-ups list? Hold on, let me take a sip. Okay. So here's how it works. We just connected with 20 people, eight, uh, 10 prospects, six customers, four distributors. We're just starting conversations with people. We're starting conversations with people. And um, out of 20 connects, let's say 50% of them, by the way, which is conservative, respond. So now we've got 10 conversations that we started today, right? So we're, we're messaging, talking to 10 different people. Out of those 10 people, some of those conversations will fizzle out right away. It'll just be like, hey, Eric, nice to hear from you. Great. Great to, great to connect. Have a great day. And then we'll connect with them next time they come up on Teamsy. Some of those conversations will go a little ways, but they're not interested right now in what you're doing. They're just not interested in learning more about the business or whatever, which is fine. Again, with relationship marketing, every single person I know is part of my army. I am building them into advocates. Every single one of them. Some of them will take longer, but every single one of them, as I invest in that relationship, will become my advocate. And that's what you'll do too. But out of that 10 people, let's say three of them are kind of interested in learning some more. And this is where the invites come in. Remember our goal was three a day to invite three data to the business. So now out of those conversations I've been having, I've got a few people who are interested. So let's just do one for example. Let's say Jay, we messaged Jay. And she messaged me back and we started having a conversation, we're catching up. She's telling me what's going on in her life and telling her what's going on in my life. And she's asking me, you know, well, how's that thing going? How's that network marketing thing going with you? I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going great. It's so, so much fun. And so we're talking about it and she's kind of interested. I said, you know what, Jay? If you're interested in learning more, we've, we've actually got an opportunity, live opportunity call tonight on Facebook, a Facebook event. Why don't I invite you to that? And, um, and you can get some more information that way. And then I'll follow up tomorrow and see if you have any questions. She's like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. Great. So how do I log this in Teamsy? So what I would do is I would look her up in my lookup bar to find her record. Okay, because she's already off my dashboard, right? Once I get there, I'm going to click connect because an invite is a connect. It's just a special kind of connect. So I'm going to put up 
uh, op call, right? Isn't that what we're doing? Opportunity call. So and I, I sent her an email with that link and it was an invite. So now I'm clicking this little invite button and I'm selecting the type, it was an opportunity call. So now I've set this up to log into Teamsy that I've invited her to an opportunity call and Teamsy is now put, knowing that I'm in, sending her an invite, not just a connect. Now before I log this, it's very important you guys, I wanna put her on my follow-ups list now so that I can follow up with her like a pro and not just wait for her to come back up on Teamsy, but I need to follow up on her more aggressively because, well, I'll explain that as we go. Okay, so see where it says follow-up default? I need to toggle that down and set a follow-up. So I'm gonna set it for tomorrow because I told her, hey, I'll follow up with you tomorrow, remember? So I'm gonna set that for tomorrow. Now when I log this connect, you can see there's a follow-up set. So on my dashboard tomorrow, when I do my power hour, when I go to follow-ups, you'll see there's Jay on my list. So I can't, she can't fall through the cracks. I sent her an invite and now, I'm, now she's on my follow-ups list. So guys, now I'm going to keep her on my follow-ups list until she buys, joins my team, or tells me flat out she's not interested right now, okay? So how do I do that? Tomorrow I'm gonna come, I'm gonna do my prospects, connect. Customers, connect. Distributors, connect. Follow-ups. Now I'm gonna go down my follow-up list and do my follow-up. So when I get to J, here's what I'm gonna do. now. Guys, this is really important. I'm just gonna tell you real quick some tricks on following up. You guys know that the fortunes in the follow-up. You've heard this a million times, right? Uh, I can't see your faces, but I know you're nodding. Yeah, Eric, we know this. Did you know that 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up? 80%. How many of you guys follow up 10 times? Anyone follow up 10 times? Hardly anybody follows up 10 times. But you already know that more than 80% of sales happen there, so why don't you? And I know the answer. I know it's because you feel like you're bugging people, right? You don't want to be a pest. You don't want to be that icky salesperson. Or you just don't have a system. You need a system that's this organized in order to follow up 10 times. It's really hard to stay on top of somebody that way. Here's the thing I'll tell you guys. First of all, you need a mindset shift. I'm gonna teach you in a second two principles so that your follow-ups will never be annoying, okay? Be cool? I'm gonna teach you that in a second, so stay tuned. But first I want you to have a mindset shift. Following up, okay, so we know that people don't make the decision to buy until they've been followed up seven to 10 times. And most people in this business, if, if at all, will go maybe three follow-ups before they give up on somebody. So here's my question to you. Do you believe in your product? Do you believe in it? Like, do you think it's, do you think people need your product? Do they need your product? Like, do you believe that if people don't get your product, it's bad, it's a bad thing? That's the first thing. Do you actually believe in your product? Do you believe in the opportunity that your business provides is life-changing? You do? I hope you do. If you don't really believe that, then you're gonna quit anyways. It's okay, we'll have some fun tonight. But if you truly believe that your opportunity can be life-changing for people. And the only way for them to get to the place where they can change their life with this opportunity is when you follow up a lot. Then you have to understand that following up isn't something that's annoying, it's actually an act of love. Following up is an act of love. Write that down somewhere where you can see it, put on a sticky note, put it on the corner of your computer. Following up is an act of love. The only way to help people in this business is to follow up with them. If you believe in your heart of hearts that this business changes lives, you can only do that by following up. So following up is how you love people. On the other side of that, not following up enough is the same as saying, I'm sorry, but I just don't care enough about you to follow up with you on this. I just really don't care enough about you to help you change your life. And you guys need to hear this because this business is geared around the whole concept of leaving people behind if they're not interested. Just, you know, the whole go for no, the whole selfish mentality, like who can help me build my business? And there's another way to do it, guys. There's another approach, which is, hey, I'm in this to help people. And I care about you and I wanna help you. You, should, you put your hand up and said, help me. Now I'm gonna love you through the follow-up process. Following up is an act of love. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to not be annoying so you don't feel icky doing it. 
Okay, you ready? I'm gonna give you two principles. Now, the cool thing is this, these principles are built into Teamsy. You don't even have to think about them, but I'm gonna tell you what's behind what we do in Teamsy um, so that you kind of understand it. The first principle is this. When you're following up with somebody, never ask them to do something in your follow-up. Never ask them to do something in your follow-up. Don't ask them to call you back. Don't ask them to text you back. Don't ask them to purchase the product. Don't ask them to do anything. Never ask them to do anything in the, in the follow-up. That's the first way to not ever be annoying. Okay. The second thing is your follow-up should be in written form, like a Facebook message or text. And it should be short enough they can read it on the lock screen of their phone without opening it. Why is that? Because they don't want you to know they opened it because they're not ready to respond to you. In fact, most people won't even respond to the first five follow-ups, which is so frustrating, I know, and you've been through this and you think that, you need, that they're not interested. That's not true. This is just the way the brain works. Okay, but they need to be able to see it on the lock screen so that you don't become annoying. Make sense? So why do we do those two things? First of all, you're, you're, when you talk to somebody about the business opportunity and they are legitimately excited about it. But what happens when, they're, when you leave the room is their subconscious mind starts kind of breaking it apart going, you know what? Now that I think about it, that sounds hard. That sounds scary. That sounds like danger. That sounds unstable. That sounds like risk. We don't want to do that, right? This is the way our brains are will function. And so they start talking themselves out of it. What happens is when you follow up in a way that is positive, it's short, it's sweet, it lets them know that you're caring about them, they get it, it feels good, and they, they reconnect to that moment of hope, that moment of excitement that they had when they talked to you, just for a second before their subconscious takes over and squishes it. So they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna call Eric back. Oh, but I can't right now because the baby's throwing up on the dog, right? They find legitimate reasons why they can't, which is why we make it easy on them so that they don't even have to open it. Because the next day when I message them again, same thing, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, I need to do that. And as you keep connecting with them, even if they're not responding, you are connecting that positive emotion with your messages. And what happens is over time, they start their subconscious mind, which has been preventing them from moving, starts to accept this change, this decision, because it's associating it with positive emotion. Guys, this is like psychology, but this is why people buy after eight follow-ups. And this is why if you love people, you have to be persistent with connecting with them and following up with them. So let me show you how to do it in Teamsy. It's really easy. By the way, we put 10 scripts for follow-ups in Teamsy. So you literally don't have to think about this. You can just use our scripts. One, two, they're numbered. Just use them in order. Can you believe that? We made it so easy. So when I go to follow-up with Jay, I'm going to go to scripts. I'm going to grab my first follow-up. Um, which is follow-up one. Hi, Jane, just check it in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Oh, this is such a powerful one because I told her I would check in tomorrow and not actually doing it. So I'm, I'm putting a, a deposit in her trust account. I followed through on my first promise to her. So I'll copy that, send it to her on Facebook, right? In fact, we can actually send it to her. Jay doesn't mind. She works for Teams. She doesn't mind if I mess with her all day. Okay, we'll send that to Jay, boom, and we'll log it in Teamsy. Okay, so when I log this, this thing in Teams, I didn't change the name, make sure you change the name, right? I wanna set the next follow-up. Always set the next follow-up. If you don't, she'll go back to default and fall off your follow-ups list. So I'm gonna set the next follow-up to the next day, right? Tomorrow when I do follow-ups, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna get follow-up number two. Do you guys see how easy this is? Now, I explained it to you in detail, but you don't even need to understand this. When you go, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. When you go in here, you're just gonna go down your list and send the next follow-up. You don't even have to think about it. It takes a second. You just keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Make sense? Now, what happens is after three or four follow-ups, I probably, most people will not have even responded. And this is where most people quit following up. But what will happen around five or six is you'll get a message that says something like, oh my gosh, you're so amazing. You're so awesome. Thank you for staying in touch with me. I really appreciate it. My life has been nuts. And then they'll give you all the excuses they told themselves for the last two or three weeks of why they didn't respond to you, which is cool. 
You need to get that out so you can keep moving on. And if you persist and you love them through the process and you stay connecting, you keep being efficient in your power hours, sending out your connects, sending out your follow-up follow messages. Now I look in my back office and lo and behold, Jay has purchased her distributor kit. She has joined the team. She is ready to rock. So how do I now complete that process in Teamsy? I'll come in here and I'll look her up, go to her contact record, okay? I'm gonna log the sale by clicking sale. What type was it? It was a, let's call it a distributor kit. And this, this drop down will be a little different depending on your network. It'll be specific to you. And I'm gonna save that. That just tells Teamsy that all those connects I did with her, we got a sale from it. Why is that important? Because as you get better at using this, you're gonna to wanna to know what your ratio is between connects and sales. That helps you fine tune your, your um, projections for the year in your business. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I wanna do now is I want to actually move her from prospect to distributor by just clicking on it. Okay, so now I've moved her over to the new group and then she's personally sponsored. How cool is that? So now I've taken Jay through the process. We started out as a prospect. We connected with her, started a conversation. We had a great conversation. I invited her to an opportunity call, right? I logged my invite. Then I took her through, um, after the opportunity call, I followed up. I followed up like a pro until I moved her onto my team. So now I'll continue to connect with Jay, but she'll be on the distributors list instead of the prospects list. And I'll continue to work that um, relationship with her. And then tomorrow I do my power hour. I'm starting with a new batch of prospects again, connecting, connecting, connecting. Make sense? That's the process. Okay. You guys have, I'm going to stop talking now. I've been teaching for a while. What questions do you guys have? If you put any questions in the Q&A for me, if you have any, pop, pop them in there and I'll answer them. And that was a good training. I generated no questions. No problem. Okay. All right, guys. Last chance. Any questions? Okay. I'm going to give you guys some action steps. I'm going to give you guys some action steps. Um, first, make sure you have the free trial going if you haven't already started it. Second, for your 30-day trial, or if you're already a subscriber, do this for the next 30 days. Get a success partner. If you don't have a success partner in your business, Go get a 30-day success partner, okay? And do the trial together. And here's what I recommend you do. When you get to 100% complete for the day's activities, take a screenshot of that and message it to your success partner every day. Every day so you guys can really get the most out of it. Here's the thing, you guys. Somebody asked me how much is Teamsy after the first 30 days. After the first 30 days, Teamsy, if you do it monthly, it's $29.99. That's US. I know we've got people from all over the world. That's US, which is less than the commission most of you guys would get from getting one sale, right? And if you use this for 30 days for free, you are gonna generate a ton of sales. There's no doubt in my mind. So it's gonna be paid for, don't worry about that. Use it for those free, time, those free days. Get a success partner to drive you, okay? Somebody who will really help you get a lot out of it. I want you guys to do a further challenge. I call it my five-day challenge, and here's the challenge I want you guys to accept. For five days, I want you to connect with 100, 100 people. So 20 a day for five straight days. I want you to do it five days in a row. Make sure, just basically what I showed you today, 20 people a day for five straight days. You gotta do that because you're going to create so much momentum. It might even be a little bit overwhelming, but in a good way. You're gonna have so many conversations going, so many people interested. You're gonna create so much energy in your business and that only takes five days to do that. It's a test, just do it so you understand what we're talking about. This business is so much fun this way. Just starting conversations, having conversations, have stuff going on all the time. It is so much fun. Hey, I got some questions in there, so let me jump in here real quick. So you always follow up with a text. Linda, yes, text, or actually, Linda, I prefer Facebook Messenger. That's my favorite. Right now, Facebook Messenger has almost a 99% response rate across the globe. In the history of the world, we've never had something with such a high response rate. I mean, people don't, people will ignore other forms of communication, but they're, they always answer those Facebook messages. But yes, it needs to be in writing so they can see it on their phone. Kelly says, uh, 
I've loaded my contacts three times. I can see them below, but above it says you have not imported any contacts. Um, okay, so just dismiss that. Kelly, and it shouldn't come back. And if it is, I will have, uh, send us a ticket to support at teamd.com and we'll, we'll look into it and see what's going on. Okay. I'd have to open up your account and look at it to see what's happening there. It could be that you haven't added, um, if you haven't done a bulk import, like a bulk import, if you've added them one at a time, then that'll still be there. You just have to dismiss it. Okay. Is there a way to automatically add new friends to the list and do they automatically get added to your first contact? Okay, there is not a way to automatically add new friends to the list. You need to be adding them, like just clicking that add new contact button. But guys, remember that every single day you've got a goal to add people to your list, right? So we're gonna do that by clicking this add contact button as you meet people. You're gonna have this goal right here to add people to your list. If you're not adding people to your list, you're gonna get a zero. You're not gonna get to 100% of your goal for the day and it's gonna drive you nuts. So you're gonna be motivated to be adding people in there. If that makes sense. If you fall behind um, a few days, it's not a big deal. I usually just go to recently added in Facebook and then add them every once in a while. Or you can do a full export of your whole Facebook list every once in a while and it won't duplicate the people that are already there. Just add the new people. Okay. Linda says, is there anywhere we can log some of our own scripts on team? Absolutely, Linda. You can add your own scripts. So when you go into scripts, I'm still sharing my screen right now. You click new script and you put in your own script. You can just copy it in there and save it. A um, Couple of tips on this. You wanna make sure you add tags, which is what kind of script it is. So it's for prospects, and I'm gonna use it on Facebook and text and Instagram, okay? The reason why I do that is so when you actually load it up, it's easy to find, okay? Otherwise, it'll just be at the bottom of the list if there's no tags on it. Cool, all right, next question. Anonymous says, this is a stupid question, but technically there aren't any, right? But there, there always are some, this one's not stupid. But what is the goal if they do reply, if they do reply back on a generic reach out, just having, a com a, having communication? Yes, the goal is having a conversation. That's the goal. And in the conversation, you want to bring value. So the first way you bring value is by making their day because it's friendly and nice and it makes them smile and it's a nice, it's just a nice greeting, okay? Don't underestimate how valuable that is. My wife and I went to Costco today and the guy that checks your receipt at the door, I don't know if you guys all go to Costco, he said, thank you, have a beautiful day and God bless you. That was it, I mean, big deal, right? That's his job and as we're walking away, my wife goes, that just made my day. Don't underestimate how, how, how impactful just sending somebody a heartfelt message is. It's huge. And it builds that relationship. And then as you're talking to them, you're going to look for a way to help them. It may have nothing to do with your business. You just, you just want to bring value, right? You want to be a trusted advisor in their life. I've had people ask me, hey, you have a recommendation for a good pediatric dentist and they have a ton of kids. Yeah, that's a way I can help them. And I'm going to be looking for opportunities to talk about my business in the conversation. But because I'm connecting with 20 people a day, I don't need to invite all of them. I'm gonna be looking out of those 20 people in a day, I'm gonna be looking for the ones who show some interest and then I'm gonna go deeper in those conversations with those guys. And the other people I'll pick up again in a month or two months and sometimes it takes a little bit longer to build those relationships. Does that make sense? Okay. Is there a way to add your Instagram friends to a list? Yeah, absolutely. Now, Instagram doesn't let you do an export like Facebook does, so you're gonna have to add them by one at a time by adding contact, or if you or you can put them in a spreadsheet and, and import them as a CSV file. Like this is a great task if you have like an idle teenager in your life. Um, but what I recommend you guys, and I did a training on this recently. Um, it's it's gonna be in the help center all about how to use tags. And so what I would do is, if I'm working on Instagram, I wouldn't want all of my Instagram followers in Teamsy. I would want the ones in Teamsy who actually converse with me, who respond to me, right? And so what I would do is, as you're me making new connections on Instagram, I might add them to Teamsy for a little while and try to build a relationship with them. And if I succeed in, sorry, if I succeed in getting a response from them, maybe I'll keep them on my Teams list and keep communicating with them. If I can't get nothing from them, I'll probably delete them out. And you can do this by creating a tag and keeping them on their own list, like Instagram leads, where you're connecting with them for a couple weeks to see if anything can happen with them. And then if they do, you can kind of promote them over. That's, that's the way I would manage it so that it's like they're coming in a few a day 
instead of, you know, putting 5,000 of them in because a lot of times Instagram is just like an empty hole. People follow you, but they don't want to connect in any way, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I lost, I lost my Q and A. Did I get them all? Got them all. But I also see somebody, somebody threw in something in the, in the chat. After how many conversations with the same person should you start asking to present them the opportunity script? That's totally, I mean, I don't have an exact number for that. It depends on the person, the relationship and your gut on that. It's probably sooner than you think it should be because we tend to procrastinate that kind of thing. But as you're talking to somebody and having conversations with them and helping them, then it's easy for you to talk about your business because you're not leading with it. You're showing that you care about them and not just leading with the, what can you do for me mentality? Does that make sense? And that's the thing that makes most of us feel like, well, that's the thing that gives this industry a bad name, honestly, is that everyone's teaching you to go in, the, go in with the what's in it for me. Hey, Eric, if I could show you an opportunity right now that could make you a million dollars, would you be interested? I might be, but I might rather you just say first, hey, man, I haven't talked to you in 10 years. How frig is your life? What are you up to these days? Right? Make sense? That's just the way I'm wired. That's the way Teams is built. It's built to build those relationships. Again, you guys, take that five-day challenge I gave you, and you will generate so much momentum, you'll be shocked. Okay. Awesome. Well, you guys, it's been a pleasure being with you tonight. I can see that we're out of questions, which is perfect. If you have any other questions, send them to um, support at teams.com or go into the, uh, the community on Facebook and post them there. We'll, we'll answer them either way. Um, but it's been a pleasure. Hopefully that was really helpful to you guys tonight. Um, I do this call every Tuesday. Now, of course, we moved it to Monday because tomorrow's Halloween. I'm going to be with my kids. But um, let your team know next Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Figure out the time zone everywhere in between. Um, I'll be doing this training on how to get started. Put, plug your team in. Get them into this. Help them use it. We want you guys to be successful. We are here to help you build your team, build your business, so you can build your life. Thank you guys so much for being here with me tonight. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.